In this second part I show you how I make the pages of the book. In the first part I made this mechanism to control the opening of the book. Now I hide this armature because I don't need it. I create the pages with a cube and resize them. After resizing you must always apply the scale, with Ctrl A. I go into edit mode. I create a loop cut, with Ctrl R and press the right mouse button or ESC, to leave it in place. I press V to separate the geometry and then F to fill the face. If I press L I select the whole bottom part, hide it and create the face in the other. I check the normals with the orientation of the faces. At this point I select these edges, shift S and cursor on the selection, and change the pivot point on the 3D cursor. The final effect is to rotate on the X axis by 180 degrees and I do this with the armature. I also have to deform the book, with Ctrl R I create the loops. Here I insert the armature. I select the edges and with Shift S select to cursor, and in object mode I insert the armature. I rename the armature. I put the visualization in front and I rotate it of 90 degrees on the X axis. I extend the tail up to here. Again, I select the object and in edit mode I select the other edges, Shift S for cursor to select it. I go to the armature and extrude the head of this bone. This time, with Shift S I choose selection to cursor. Pressing N brings up the menu and you must be careful that roll is at zero, so it is aligned with the global axis. Right click and subdivide. Then take the tail and extend it to here. Rename everything. Now I need to parent the object to the armature, but first I insert a bevel and a subdivision modifier, which I'll need later. I select the pages and then the armature, Ctrl P and choose automatic with empty group. Before assigning the vertices I select the Euler rotation. I select the rest and press Ctrl R and Euler XYZ. This rig is slightly different than what you saw in the video I have on my channel. I had a chance to do some testing and improve on the previous version. I select the armatures in edit mode and move it inward. To simplify I rotate the armature in pose mode so when I assign the vertices I see how it is affected. I select with L the bottom pages and assign them to bottom page, and I do the same with the top and the side as you see on the screen. If you don't see it in edit mode, go to the pages armature modifier and select the edit mode view. To fix some of the problems we have to extend the hump in the spine of the book. It is not an important step, but it helps. Now we are going to create the mechanism that will allow us to move it in one movement. Like we did with the book cover. I select this bone and duplicate it, and shrink the size for easy viewing. I rename it and it will be our controller. I go into pose mode and create a constraint. I select the owner and then the target. And with shift control C I do copy rotation. If it snaps just put everything in local space. In this video I forgot but remember to remove the deformation from the controller bone by going into the bone properties and uncheck deform. Refer to part 1, at 3 minutes and 17 seconds. To copy on the others just select the other two and then last the bone with the constraint, 
Go to the top pose menu, constraints, and select copy constraints. Rotating the controller as you see, you cannot rotate 180 degrees to open all the pages. To solve this problem just reduce the influence of the owner on the targets. By how much? I don't have a mathematical formula, but I've seen that it's enough to count the influenced bones and in this case they are 3. The maximum is 1000 or 10 for simplicity and divide it by the number of influenced bones, in this case 3, you get 3.333. Put the zero in front and you get 0 0.333. Here it tends to go off beyond a certain threshold. So you don't have to go beyond that. This is a problem I didn't have to solve because I wasn't opening it beyond 180 degrees so to be honest I didn't even try to solve it. I think it is a similar problem to the inverse kinematic where the solution is to use a pole target. If you find a solution write it to me in the comments. Thank you. Now that I've managed to create the controller I need to modify the shape of the book. First I move the bones I don't need to a different layer for easier visualization. I select the object and go in object data properties, I create a first shape key, that will be the basis and then I add another one. I put the influence to the maximum. At this point you can change the position of the vertices, the important thing is not to add new vertices compared to the basis. I start to create the shape of a book. Try to follow an image reference to help you. Now that I have done this, I go back to the object mode and reduce the influence to zero. The book changes its shape. Now I need to make sure that when the book closes, the influence changes. This is done using drivers. To make it easier, I create a quick animation. The logic behind this is that when the book opens, the armature bone will drive the shape key value, hence the name driver. I select the shape key value and press the right mouse button, add driver. If the menu disappears just put edit driver. Delete plus 00, 00 from var and select the object that in this case is the armature, which is inside page, the bone is control inside page and remember the axis, which is in this case the x axis of rotation. If I do this you can see now that it works. The only problem is that it increases without control. To modify I open the drivers menu. I select everything I press the dot in the numeric tab to bring it closer. This white gizmo shows me at what point is the influence. And here I see that its maximum peak comes too early. If you press N you can edit the driver without going to edit driver. First I try to see at what point it reaches the maximum. I move the end node and so that when it gets here it is the maximum. Change the keyframe of the driver. Now we can edit the starting node as well, since it bends, too early. I just select keyframe and I move it further. Here there is a fold I don't like and it must be an error of the bevel modifier, that doesn't act above a certain threshold and so I move the loops a bit, to round off the shape. If you see the book now opens well. To conclude I have to parent the cover of the book to the pages. First though I need to delete the animation. What I do is create a constraint with the book bone with the other one from the book cover. I select the one that will be driven, the target, and add the constraint copy rotation with local space. One problem is that when it gets to the middle, the book opens all the way, so we need to change the influence of the cover. 
I select the cover and the target bones. If you remember, from part 1, to figure out what value to input in the influence, just count. In this case 2 bones divided by 1000 makes 0 0.500. In Blender metric system. Now it opens in the right way. To move the book separately you can create an empty and parent to it, the armature of the cover. Now I can move and rotate it. I know this rig is not perfect and there are imperfections, but that's okay. That's because no one can see these imperfections. As an artist I get to choose what I show and hide to the audience. I had 20 days to sculpt, model, do the textures, rig, and animation for everything. My goal was to have a finished product, not a perfect one. And still it turned out really well. I could have animated all the pages and made a better rig, but it would have taken me so long and I didn't even know how to do it. Instead, I preferred to find an easier way, and repurpose the project around that choice. This allowed me to experiment and learn new things. What I've learned from this project, it is not important how many tools and knowledge you have, important is how you use those few that you have, I don't have to look for a perfect product but a finished one. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download this Blender project file. As always, thank you for watching.